I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on functions. In this video, we'll specifically learn about rate of change. Here is a question which is going to help you understand most of the concepts required for this unit on rate of change. The question here is, the population of a city has continued to grow since 1950. The population P in thousands and the time t in years since 1950 are given in the table below. So time and population, this population is in thousands. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, population grows, 5, 10, 20, 40, 80, 160, and 320. Based on this, we have five questions. A. Calculate average rate of change in population for the intervals between 20 to 40, between, let me, and 40 to 60. B. Graph the data. C. Estimate the year when the instantaneous rate of change of population is equal to the rate of change of population for the interval from 20 to 50. D. Write a function to model the information. E. Estimate instantaneous rate of change in the year 1990 using your function. So this is a very beautiful question in which we start with table, find average rate of change, also graph the data. The slope will give us the instantaneous rate of change at any point. We'll model this situation and then again calculate instantaneous rate of change. So that covers most of the things which you need to understand. And after this video, I'll share with you solution of a test paper. Okay, so let's begin with the basics first, and that is to find average rate of change. So we'll do part A, which is calculate average rate of change in the population for the intervals 20 to 40 and 40 to 60, right? So I'll write average rate of change as a average rate of change, right? So basically to find average rate of change between any two points is writing the value at those points. So we are saying population, which is a function of time. So population from 20 to 40, so from 40 minus population when it was 20 divided by 40 minus 20, right? So that gives us average rate of change. The population is in thousands, so units should have thousands in them, right? So time 40 is this, and 20 is here. So at 40, it is 80, so we have 80 minus 20 divided by 20, correct? So we get 60 divided by 20 or we get 3 and the number of persons are in thousands right so it is 3 thousands so the answer will be average rate of change for this interval which is between 20 to 40 is 3000 per year right so units are kind of important right so that is uh, one interval and now let's find the average rate of change for the second interval which is from 40 to 60 right so so average rate of change when we'll do from 60 to 40 60 minus 40 equals to 60 it is 320 right minus in 40 it was 80 persons 80,000 I mean right so this is again interval of 20 years so it has really grown very fast over this period of time you could use calculator also to calculate these values right so 12 take away 8 is 4 and we get 240 
divide by 20 and that gives you 12 and so we can write this as 12,000 per year is that clear to you right so that is how we get the average rate of change now let's look into sketching the graph of this particular function so to sketch the graph we'll take uh, population on this axis so population is in thousands so we'll write population p in one in thousands right time t so as far as time is concerned it is from 19 90 1950 right so t is from 19 1950 is it clear to you so t equals to 0 is the time when was the year 1950 and 10 will be 1960 like this correct so let this be our time axis okay so we have uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 let's use 10 right so that is in 10 20 30 40 50 60 right and here we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 we have to go up to 320 so we'll just uh, use one more line so 8 will have 40 into us right so we'll kind of extend this this is going to be of a rough sketch, but will give you a fairly good idea about the function, right? So let this be the extension. So we'll go with the uh, 40s, right? So this is, let's say 80, 160, right? 160. Okay, so that will be 320. This will be 240. Okay. So the points here will be at zero, which is the year 1950, it is five. So each is 20. Uh, so this is uh, 40, that is 20, 10. So five is very close. Let's put this point as five. So at 10, it is 10. So, so at 10, this is 40, 20 and half of it. So it is 10. At 20, it is 20. So at 20, it is midpoint. Okay. And then at 30, it is 40. So at uh, 30, it is 40. Now at 40, it is 80. So at 40, it is 80. At 50, it is 160. At 50, it is 160. And at 60, it is 320. So that is the graph which we are looking at. So let me just connect these points. That is the graph for us, correct? So it says, graph and estimate the year when the instantaneous rate of change of population is equal to the rate of change of population for 20 to 50. Now how do we do that, right? So we have done the first part. And now we will answer this question that we need to find the instantaneous rate of change of population is equal to the rate of change of population. So let's use a different thing. Rate of change of population for the year interval between 20 to 50. So 20 is here and that is 50 for us, right? So let me connect these two points. So the line or the slope connecting 20 and 40 gives you the the rate of change. So this is uh, the rate of change between 20 to 50, correct? Now the question here, which is a very interesting question, is when will the instantaneous rate of change of population be equal to this right so what we need to do to find the point is that we need to draw a line which is parallel to this line do you understand so we'll just draw a line which is parallel and tangent to this line 
So we say these two lines are parallel and it coincides somewhere there. So we'll say this is the point when the instantaneous rate of change will be almost same, right? So that is the point which we are looking for. Do you see that? So it is between 30 and 40 and from the graph we can say it is close to let us say 36 years. 36 years from 1950. Do you, do you understand this point? Correct? So it says graph and estimate the year. So we need to now figure out which year it is when the instantaneous rate of change of population is equal to this average rate of change. So we'll add 36 to 1950, right? So in 1986, the rate of change will be same as average rate of change, right? So, so that will be the year. So in the year 1986. Do you understand the concept? So when you're trying to figure out when is the instantaneous rate of change same as the average rate of change, then draw a line tangent and parallel to the given line and get the answer. Perfect. So I hope that makes sense. So that is how we could actually solve this question. Let's move on and uh, take the next part. Here the question is, model and estimate instantaneous rate of change in the year 1990. So that is the table given to us and we are saying that time goes by tens, the population is doubling. Do you see that? So we see that the population doubles every 10 years right so initially it is 5 so we can say that the population could be written as 5 times 2 to the power of since the doubling time is 10 we can write this as t over 10 do you see that so that becomes an exponential equation so population doubles every 2 years so that means we are getting exponential equation exponential growth with doubling time of 10 years. So initial population is 5, doubling time t over power is t over 10, that gives you the equation. You get the idea, right? So that is how you can get the exponential equation from the data. So that is the first part and that is how you should model this. Now we need to estimate instantaneous rate of change in 1990, right? So again, this T is from the year 1950, right? So where T is time in years, since 1950, correct? So now when we want to figure out change in 1990, so we know 1990, minus 1950 gives us 40. So therefore, t equals to 40, correct? So now we need to find instantaneous rate of change, right? When t is 40, correct? When t is 40. So, so for that, we, we can say when t is 40, correct? So for that, it will be P of, we can say, uh, 40 plus some point, let's say 40.1, right? Minus P of 40 over 40.1 minus 40. Is that clear? So we have taken point 0.1, which is uh, uh, relatively a small quantity, and then we can actually find the instantaneous rate of change. Now let's substitute here. So we get this as 5, 2 to the power of 40.1 over 10 minus 5 times 2 to the power of 
40 by 10. Is it clear to you? Divided by 0 0.1. Correct? So, so this can be calculated. We can take 5 divided by 0.1 as common, which is 50, right? So, we will write here 5 divided by 0 0.1. And within brackets, we can actually, it's good to simplify, factor it out. So, when you divide, you get 2 to the power of 4.01 minus 2 to the power of 4, correct? This basically is uh, 50, correct? So, 50 into 2 to the power of 4.01 minus 2 to the power of 4. So, let's calculate this using the calculator. So, we'll have 2 to the power of 4.01 minus 2 to the power of 4. This is equal to that number. We'll multiply this by 50. And what we get here is 5.564. Is that clear? So that is the instantaneous rate of change in the year 1990. And now we can write down our answer. So the instantaneous rate of change is, see, population is in thousands, correct? So it would be 5,564 persons. Per year in the year 1990. Does it make sense to you, right? So remember, this population was in thousands, and that is how we are going to solve this question. So I hope all the concepts are absolutely clear. So let's get back. We actually started off with uh, a question which had four parts in it. We were given data in the form of a table and clearly this table indicates that there is an exponential growth. So we found average rate of change. We graphed the data. We found that we also understood that on a graph, if we draw a line which is tangent and parallel to the secant line, we get the same slope and therefore same rate of change. Perfect. As far as modeling of the function was concerned, looks like an exponential function. And therefore, we use that exponential function formula, right? So we said uh, the population is being doubling. So using doubling angle, initial population 2 to the power of t over d, right? Where d is the doubling period. So we use this equation to find the model. And then to find the instantaneous rate of change, we've calculated for 40 years, substituting t to 40, we found that the instantaneous rate was around 5,000 people, right? Sorry, five and a half, right? Approximately. So I hope with this, you get good concept. And now you can take up a test on this. I'll provide you with the links. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.